Hey guys, it's me, Double E, with another episode of Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards. In the last episode, we took down the boss of Rockstar, and got started on Aquastar. And in this episode, we're gonna be taking on three more levels of Aquastar. So, this one's a river, let's get right to it. Now, enjoy this music as you can, because at, like, level to a pop star, this is the only time you'll be able to, you'll be able to enjoy this music. Now, I'm gonna shut up and let you hear it while I get the necessary copy abilities needed. How much I love this music. I'm pretty sure this was remixed from another game from another earlier Kirby game. I just can't seem to think of it on the top of my head. Anyway, I can't seem to find the copy build in question needed. I do know that you probably need. Okay, there's one of the ingredients fire. The other is bomb, and I think I just skipped it. Yep, I did. Or was it stone? Either way, I probably skipped it. Yeah, guess what I'm gonna have to do again? Yeah. Fortunately, the, like, the mini-bosses here are Joe, just like all the other mini-bosses. That's the thing I, ha I really need to bring up. These mini-bosses! You know in earlier games, these mini-bosses are unique and stuff? Well, well, here in Kirby 64, they're just gigantic versions of existing enemies. Really disappointing there, developers. And who? what do we have here, Waddle Dee? We're going river rafting. You know, I've always wanted to go river rafting one day, but I think I hear how dangerous that becomes, and if things go poorly wrong, well, you could die. But hey, at least there's more. At least what I've seen is safer than what Kirby and Waldy are doing. I mean, seriously. Oh yeah, riding with Waldy, bump into an obstacle. You will lose some health. And uh, oh, okay, okay, good. I actually forgot there was a crystal shard there. Would it be Would it be funny if I just totally botched the timing to that stuff to that jump? I mean, really. Anyway, yeah. So what was saying? Oh yeah. Any Any time you see an obstacle, jump over it. You get, you don't, if you don't, you take damage, just like you, but, however, there is, this, this is really generous with the food, I mean, even if you do botch it, oh, botch it, you will get food to replenish that health in no time, so it's not that big of a deal. Anyway. Oh, invincibility candy, run, destroy everything, yeah! We're going downstream, destroying it all, and that pig is still chasing after me because I'm outrunning it because I'm going faster, 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 faster. I don't know why I'm trying to sing the Sonic X song. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know why when it makes sense. Oh, there's a crystal star right there. I forgot about that too. Yeah, I seem to be forgetting a lot where the crystal shards shards are in this level. I mean, I know there are some crystal. Sh I only know the first one from memory. The, la the last two, they just came out of nowhere. Anyway. Now we're going upstream like a salmon, and running here probably won't do you any good because you're going to be just slowing down, and spike logs. As soon as you approach one, it will start rolling towards you and you better jump over them unless you want to take damage. And I can't believe I got hit by a bounce, bouncing enemy right there. Well, while I have this fire ability, I might as well show off what happens if you do, do, you do double fire and I got squished by it. You be okay, regular fire, it's basically burning Kirby. Here, I like to call this Phoenix Kirby, even though he is, it's not the case. But but it's a but it's really, really flashy. And it really gets you gets you far. I mean look at the speed you're going. Eh. And no! Don't make me lose it! Yay! Hey! hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Wonderful! Oh my god, I keep getting rolled, steamrolled by that thing. Oh god. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> that was really weird. Anyway, I believe this is the end of the level, and... Yeah, I really need to go back to get that crystal shard. 
but hey, at least getting the card <laughs> card made up for it, as opposed to getting no cards back at the first two first levels. I mean, my god, that was terrible. Anyway, I'm gonna have to go back. When you believe it, I accidentally destroyed the only stone ability that you can ever have in this level. Wonderful. And we're back to the giant enemy crab. This time with the appropriate call be really we needed. As Volcano Kirby, I can just Oh. Right. Oh, never mind. Uh, the good thing is you can get the crystal shard anytime you want as long as you have the ability. Which I have it right here. Now, I'm gonna go try something real quick. See the pause screen, continue to try again. Let's see what happens if you try. If you press that if, when you haven't completed the level, if you hit the crystal shard, because I've, I have wondered this for so long. It actually registers. Okay, so if you miss a crystal shard, you don't have to complete the levels in order for it to register. Wow, I did not know that. Yeah, the truth is, I already knew that. Be knew that because I had a failed recording. That failed recording, and I had to make a backup file. Anyway, now we're going to the beach because it wouldn't be Aqua Star without the beach. And I'm gonna dispose of that right away because I know we don't need need that ability. In fact, we're gonna need two two combo abilities. We're gonna need two combo abilities to get all the crystal shards here. One of which it both of which contain cutter. So first, let me find the find a, find an enemy that requires cutter. Yeah. You know, don't you want? Don't you? What you don't like is. Random crabs buried under the beach, buried in the sand, trying to nip your butt when you're trying to sit and have a good time. Anyway, nice sand castle right there. I just have to say. Anyway, now, now where is the fur? Where is that cutter ability? Where can I find one like Fishbone or Sir Kibble? Anybody with a cutter ability? And I don't have to deal with these shops. I don't have a copy ability to use. Oh! Okay, this'll do. Now. This'll do. I mean, it's... Now I need to find either a bomb or a rock. I don't... I don't remember which comes first. Okay. Oh, there is bomb. Right there. And this would be hard because if I get close, that thing will start... That thing will explode. That fish will explode. If I could get it. Yay! I got it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. You do have a limited time as to when they'll, when they'll disappear, so that always sucks. Anyway, let's take our bomb shuriken with us and... And we'll find find the berry in question, because bomb and cutter is one of those combinations. Oh, and there we are. Okay, now let's move to the right or to the left. Either side, don't go in the middle. There we go. The first crystal shard. Okay, step on this rock, and we will be transported back out the wall. Out, back out the, back out that hole. And watch out when stepping on certain boards of this, because you're gonna be, it's gonna rise up in the water, and you're gonna be hitting some gordos if you're not careful. Oh, I don't need this anymore, but I do need stone. And I need to find another cutter ability. Oh, hey, DDD, what's up? Okay. Now we just need to find a cutter ability. Sir Kibble or Kappa, I don't care. Loin has cutter. Ah, fishbone, there we go. Ah! Oh my god. I, f I forgot those those logs adjust your weight and Oh there we are! Yay! And of course there's a current. Now, rock and cutter! This is this is another cool one. Let me just get to a safe place. If you, if you press B, you'll transform into one of the animal friends. Here we have Nago. Nago gives you a double jump. Unfortunately, they're as slow as crap because, you know, they're, you'd make them out of stone. Here, Kine, absolutely nothing. As a kid, I tried using what happens if you get transform into Kine underwater. It doesn't do anything. Here we got Pitch. Compl better mobility all around, even though he's still slow as crap. Here's a boss. Now, whatever you do, do not go to the center. Do not stay in the center when you. Oh, no, 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 no. 
I forgot. I forgot it spawns there. Anyway, you destroy that barrier over there, and it will give you to the crystal star. But it's way up here. If you try to fly up there to get the crystal shard, you will see that you're barely not powerful enough. You're, you barely don't have enough air, and that's and that's that's what sucks about limited limited flying. Uh, we have Koo, which obviously cannot get you fly high enough. Rick is what you want. Rick, you go to the wall and you could jump up these walls. This can take a while. And this could take a while. And this is slow, but it's pretty much the only way you could get that crystal shot up there because of Rick's ability to climb up walls. And there you go. Uh, now I have to go back there again. That's two crystal shards that I missed. I have to go back there. <sighs> My, I am such a derp because I didn't know the hole would be on the right where the, that mini boss was standing. I thought it was gonna be on the center. Yeah. Anyway, you could you could fly over these logs and you don't have to trigger them, but I like to do that because it's fun to me. In fact. Watch where these logs go. Yeah, they somehow fuse together and stop right there. <laughs> That's always funny to me. Anyway, I have to do some awkward editing so I, to get to the last one as soon as I get to the end of this level. For, for once, something go right for me. Anyway, at least I got the card. That totally makes up for it. And now I have to go back and do the mini boss again. It's gonna take take long. Oh, I forgot to demonstrate this. With Pidge, when after you land, after you jump, Pidge will roll. You will not trick me today! And I have a flame sword, which gives me a lot of range. That was easy. And you will collect this crystal shard and quit the levels, so I don't have to go through the rest of it again. Because now I know it registers. Now this one! This one is a bit is a water level, which means things can get slow. But hey. But hey, I can we can handle this, right? Right. Anyway, listen to this peaceful peaceful music. Yeah, this this music shows up in level in level two of Rockstar, and I gotta say it really fits the mood of this of this underwater town. I expected something tropical out of SpongeBob, but I guess this works too. Anyway, at least I got protection because one health. Oh my god. Yeah, at least this flame sword can give me protection from these falling rocks. Because really, I'm really stressed right now. Simply because I, I only have one health and something stupid might happen. And we could that could like end make it my first death in this playthrough and I really don't Ooh Sandwich! Oh my god, it's a sandwich! Yes! And cake! Oh my god! I I'm coming! No 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 Okay good. Flame sword comes through for me. And that sandwich went to went to waste. I am sad. Uh, is that cake? Cake? That cake saved me from other embarrassment. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna have to be careful from now on. Anyway, into this cave we go. Now, this one has currents, and there is a crystal shard somewhere in this room. Ah! Oh my god. And I'm in danger once again because of that stupid Gordo. I don't need you right now. Go away, flame sword. Which I don't know how you work when we're underwater. Then again, Patrick had the same question in SpongeBob. 
Eh, for nothing about that. Now let's swim to the top rapidly. Oh god, good, 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 good. Wow. First death of this playthrough, guys! <laughs> well, at least I don't have to worry about he my health anymore. Anyway. Oh yeah, any stars you collected will be just will be gone forever. <laughs> Might as well create a new ability, I guess. Create a new ability that we haven't touched yet, and you know what? Screw it. That current is gonna. Actually, I can, I'm going against the current. Nope, nope, nope. Never mind. Yeah. This is one of my least favorite stages due to the fact that how slow you move when you're under No 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 that's another crystal shard I missed. Why do we keep missing these crystal shards, man? Anyway. Anyway. Good thing good to know that there is another crystal shard somewhere here. Somewhere here. Right down there. I'm gonna have to spit you out. Yeah. If if you're not good with currents like I am right there, double stone ability should should give you what you need. I have got Yeah, I rec I recommend coming in with a stone ability. Because then you'll be able to sink to the ground and don't have to worry about currents at all. And of course I am an idiot, which means I did not come here with a stone ability. So yeah. That's two crystal shards I missed. Both of which are unavoidable if I had gotten the correct ability. And I got to get onto a floor surface because this is a mini boss and I, uh, I'm gonna roll with bomb. <sighs> Die! Oh, are you serious? We're gonna have a second death in this, in this playthrough. Yes, we are. Why do I suck at this game so much? Anyway, now we have to do it the old-fashioned way, but with the swallowing... Unfortunately, the currents can get really uncooperative at times. <laughs> uh, usually I have no problem with this dungeon... Dungeon level! Oh my god, I am sucking really, really badly. And not in a punny way that describes Kirby's ability in hail. Fortunately, I think there's only one more hit until this I can defeat this mini boss and be out of here. Uh, yeah, this current can really, re can really make things hard for you. St but stone makes this entire level a joke, du especially double stone, where your hitbox is bigger and you are, well, invincible. I swear, if most of the deaths in this playthrough have been this, have been s because of this level, I am gonna be. Well, I don't know what to what to say to myself, and I should really I should really question my skill in this game if I'm dying in the same level over and over again, especially with a rapid current like this, where there's rocks are flying at you, ready to like say kill you in one hit. Is should they hit you and stuff? It, oh, I think I missed the crystal shard. Oh no, it's down here. Uh, well, at least got one crystal shard. But now I have to go back to the level and get not one, but two of them. This, is, this episode is off to a wonderful start, people. Wait, what do you mean start? I mean... End. Yeah. And to top it off, I didn't get the card. Just the plain old yellow star. Well, looks like I went back and I'm gonna go get a double stone ability. Be right back, guys. You wanna know how... How double stone ability makes it a joke? It makes you heavier and makes you fall in the water faster. Why didn't I not think come into this ability before? But yeah. Here we are in the same room. I missed the crystal shard. With stone in hand, so at least if I miss, I could always just But apparently you are not invincible when you're when dealing with a Gordo. Eh, uh, at least it bounces out so it doesn't make it totally broken. Anyway, I recommend going from this side so you will have more room for error. And... 
Go away. Nobody likes you. Anyway, I recommend going up from hit this side so you get the most results possible. And there you go. I really would have been avoided if I had double stone. Look at the other one. And here we are, the next one. That could have not gone any easier. So, with that done, after that rage-inducing thing, I think we're going to end things off here. Next time on Kirby 64, we're going to be taking on the boss. Bye, guys! <laughs>